I'm Reverend John Burns, a pastor of St. Matthew Amy Church here in Lansing, and I witness every day the assault on the middle class coming from these politicians here in Lansing. I'm sure that if you have looked at any of the headlines, you've seen the assault on senior citizens, the $343 million of this new tax on their pensions. I know that if you've seen the assault on our children, a billion dollars taken out of the school system of affecting both teachers and our students. And then they have taken this $1.8 billion and given it away you know, as a tax incentive to corporations. And I'm still scratching my head on how that happened. But there is a real assault that's being waged right now against the middle class. And it's vulgar the way that these politicians are moving right now. And in my congregation, you know, I've got people that have worked and lost their jobs through no fault of their own. They are struggling to try to put food on their table, keep a roof over their house. You know, there are people that are going to food banks now. In fact, in Lansing, the church community has come together to raise food for the food banks because the numbers are getting larger, yet the donations are getting smaller. This is a vulgar attack on the middle class. And I would propose to all of us that we have a moral imperative to stand up and to support this legislation, this initiative that we have to put collective bargaining, you know, not only on the ballot, but to make it part of our Constitution. That way we can fight off, fight back, protect our families, protect those that are workers, protect even our children, this vulgar attack that we find does speak to a fundamental belief that I'm sure all of us share. You know, the Bible tells us, do unto others as we would have them do unto us. You know, collective bargaining allows for workers to be empowered you know, that they uh, might protect those things that are near and dear to all of us, the, uh, the wages, you know, that we all need in order to support our families, the need for health care in case there's any, you know, injury or illness that befalls, you know, any of us. We need health care, the uh, need to protect people from being taken advantage of you know, by their employers. You know, the collective bargaining allows for a strong middle class. And I encourage you to take up that moral imperative to do on others as you would have them do on you. Support this initiative. We are our brother's keepers. And I would ask you to now welcome my brother Aaron, as he comes forth to present to you from Ford Motor Company's perspective as a worker.